Hello, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to a time of meditation and contemplation through the practice of Lexio Divina. It is in Psalm 95 where we are given the directive to today listen to the voice of the Lord. And in practices of prayer that encourage us to meditate on words of scripture and then to allow those words to rest in our mind as we contemplate what is the message for us today, we open ourselves up to being able to, to listen to God's voice. And, and that is ultimately what we seek to do in this time together. Now, just as a reminder, the practice of Lexio Divina essentially um, is four parts to it. Uh, first, it is you, you uh, after getting into a comfortable place with few distractions, uh, you read a, a, a piece of scripture, uh, some words from the Bible, and then you ponder what those words uh, are saying to you. Is there a word? Is there a phrase? Is there a, a sentence that that sticks out for you. And, and then they allow that to lead you into prayer, whether in your mind or aloud, um, pray those words, how um, in light of, of how your mind is, is seeing them connecting with uh, what you are facing here uh, in the moment. And then after that prayer, um, you just stay there and remain. Maybe it's for a minute, uh, maybe longer, maybe less, whatever it is um, um, that you feel you're able to do and, and what it takes in order to, to listen and contemplate its message. Now, the process that we're going to use um, is going to include the two readings of the text, first before we pray, and then the second time after we pray, uh, moving us to our time of contemplation. But before we even begin, let us come to the feet of the Lord, who tells us that the kingdom of God is all around us. Indeed, the kingdom of God is within us. So let's allow ourselves to be in tune to that reality in which we live and move and have our being as we enter into uh, this time of prayer. Today's uh, Bible text that we'll be um, listening to comes from the Old Testament prophet of Isaiah, the 63rd chapter. Then they remembered the days of old, of Moses, his servant. Where is the one who brought them up out of the sea with the shepherds of his flock? Where is the one who put within them his Holy Spirit? Who caused his glorious arm to march at the right hand of Moses? Who divided the waters before them to make for himself an everlasting name? Who led them through the depths like a horse in the desert? They did not stumble. Like cattle that go down into the valley, the Spirit of the Lord gave them rest. Thus you led your people to make for yourself a glorious name. And let us pray. Oh, Lord God, when we look back at your works and your faithfulness to your people for many, many, many generations, we are in awe of your ability to guide and lead comfort and hold on to us in every time and in every season. It was you. O oh Lord, that guided Moses. It was you 
that gave him and all your people your Holy Spirit. And it was that spirit that guided them. It is that spirit that gave them rest. It is that spirit that established for them and even here among us, as close to us as the air we breathe, your holy name, your reality of which we are included and invited to partake in. So fill us, O Lord, with your Holy Spirit. May we abound in your grace so that as the Israelites were able to enter into a promised land to live freely in you, so too we may drink from the waters of your grace and know that we dwell in your Jer Jerusalem as well. Right here where we sit, your holy name is the name upon which we live and act and make all of our decisions. In you, O oh Lord, we are finding rest. Thank you for the gift of your spirit. Amen. Then they remembered the days of old of Moses, his servant. Where is the one who brought them up out of the sea with the shepherds of his flock? Where is the one who put within him his Holy Spirit? Who caused his glorious arm to march at the right hand of Moses? Who divided the waters before them to make for himself an everlasting name? Who led them through the depths? like a horse in the desert. They did not stumble. Like cattle that go down into the valley, the Spirit of the Lord gave them rest. Thus you led your people to make for yourself a glorious name. And so my blessing to you is that you may continue on into this day in the name of Christ, the everlasting name, the glorious name of which we are able to, to dwell in and draw energy from as we embrace the gift of God's Holy Spirit. So be at peace. Christ is with you. Thanks be to God.